Welcome back. It's Mr. Gray. I just want to thank you for tuning in today. Some of you guys may not know, but my most popular video is the first video I ever did. It was pretty much on basically um, how to tie a boat shoe shoelace knot, which was very weird to me that it was so popular, but it was and it is what it is. Um, it's amazing that people really, really want to know different ways to tie their shoes. I think it's awesome. Um, and anyway, I know there's... Um, one particular way that I've always wanted to know. And so a lot of times you get your Nikes in certain ones, whether it's dunks or not really, your Jordan ones don't typically come like this, but your dunks will come in with a specific factory tied knot. One that I'm always, that I always wanted to do for myself. It's a very simple knot um, that we'll go through today. And I'm going to do it right here on this sneaker. Now, first, just to say, I personally feel like a, and, and it's called I'm just gonna say it's a factory or a generic or it's a very basic knot but it's one that works to me personally on um, more rounded puffy shoelaces um, flat shoelaces not so well can it be done yes does it look as good not really so anyway we're gonna start first by taking both shoelaces and holding them up together and you want to kind of pinch it you want to kind of get them side by side and then kind of go down as close to the shoes you can once you get them both have your two fingers right here loop them around the back of your fingers and then back around the front and then sit them side by side like that then you want to actually cross it over now this is the tricky part so you want to try not to lose <laughs> the form you already have so you're just going to want to hold these together grab the, the, the free shoestrings you have right here on the left, take those two, grab them, and pull them through. As you pull it through, you can kind of tighten the knot using one side. Now you got this, the left side here with the strings, the dangling part of the strings where you can make this loop either bigger or smaller, but then you have the other side would help, which if you pull up on it, it helps you tighten it closer to the shoe um it's it, it it can be difficult but depending on the length of your shoestring but it's really not that bad um if i show you it in a different sneaker you'll see how much more difficult it can be depending so those shoelaces on the on the shoe that i just tied it on they were much they were much they were not much but they were definitely thicker so let's try it on a slimmer but rounded shoelace so you got this shoelace here Put them together, I said, loop it around the back, get them side by side, right there, side by side, go across, and then you want to grab it right there, boop, and pull it through. And you want to pull more on the end that's not these loose strands, but the other end, because the other end kind of helps you tighten it, because if you pull on this end where the strands are, you're going to actually pull it out. So the other end kind of tightens it in right there. And hopefully I didn't block it too bad for you guys. And just give you a close-up of how it ends. So I know I got these other shoelaces. I'm not going to do it. It was really hard on these. I actually tried it on these earlier. And it was extremely difficult because these shoe strings were a lot, were much slip, slipperier. Slipperier. <laughs> they were a lot. I don't even know if I said that right. Either way, like I said, still, puffier shoelaces are what it's best on. But a lot of dunks come in with this type of, um, with this, this same exact type um, factory shoelace knot. So, but the difference between these, this, these shoelaces here and those, first of all, yes, they, dunk shoelaces are puffier, right? But they're not rounded. Um, so it's, it's, a it's a little bit more difficult. So... Um, one, also, these shoestrings are a tad bit shorter, so you have to kind of modify how you do it. So when I do it on the dunks, you know, I do this, it's the same method, but instead of one, two fingers, I actually use one finger, and I use my middle finger. That's where I find it easier. So I use my middle finger. I come up, just like I said, and you see how, how little, um, the little amount of shoestring you have there? It's not as long as the other. Come across. Ugh. kind of pull your finger out of there keep that hole in the center and you just want to stuff those through Ugh. there we go 
And remember, you wanna you don't want to pull on the strands, the strands where the shoestrings are out. You want to pull in the other one to kind of tighten that knot there, just like that. And there you go. And that's how they come in from the factory. Um, and it's perfect. So um, hopefully that's helped you guys um, do a factory shoe, <laughs> factory shoelace knot. Um, like I said, this it's not very difficult. It does take a little bit of practice depending on one. Um, if you have if you have laces that are either not rounded or laces that are slimmer but rounded, um, it's it wasn't that bad actually on these dunks, but it was the easiest on these because these were thicker. It's also very easy on it's a lot easier on not a lot easier but decently easy on um, Yeezys as well because they are also rounded shoelaces. So anyway, hopefully this review has helped you um, master making a factory shoelace knot. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you are notified immediately when I drop a new video. I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. Mr. Gray out.